Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In this video, somebody watched my video on how to make layered art, and mine was pretty simple. This one, she wanted something a little more difficult, and she picked one that's a little more difficult. And this is pretty cool. I'm not going to copy the design because I'm not going to infringe on this guy's pattern, but I'm going to I'm going to do this part right here and just kind of show you. And this the top layer has vector cut lines, which kind of a radius and looks pretty cool. That could be done later. I've got an 8 inch box and I've got a 12 inch box. I've got my nudge factor set on 8 inches. Let's make it 9 to get it out of the way. I don't really need my indexing line for this one. And I'm going to take my 3 point curve line which is underneath your freehand tool. 3 point curve. And I'm going to just draw some lines and I'm going to have them stick from node to node, from edge to edge, because I've got snap on too. Now, the person who designed this is an artist, and I don't really have much artistic ability in like this, but you'll get the idea. I'm going to do a kind of a simple one, just so you get some an idea on how to how to get going. I'll probably have to break this video up into several parts. So we're trying to get this right here. Mine's a little different. Theirs are a little elongated, but you'll get the idea. Now, you know what? I'm going to change my nudge distance to like four. Let's zoom in here. Take the Smart Fill tool. I've got it set on black and no hairline, no outline. I'm going to nudge them down. I'm going to click on each one and nudge them down. Now I'm going to take all these and I'm going to left click, no fill, right click, red hairline. I'm going to go up to range. Well, I'm going to select them all. And I don't have to do anything yet. They're individual pieces. So they're what, it, what the Smart Fill tool has made our little cavity. Now we're going to take the contour tool, which is under effects and contour. We're going to contour to the inside 0 0.05 in black so we can see it. Now, I think that went to the outside. Back up. We want to go to the inside 0 0.05. Now you just click on each one and just do that over and over and over. Just making sure that you do not move your little drawing. If you happen to double click on it and move it. Now we're going to select them all. And we're going to go up to range and we're going to break the 16 objects apart. Now we don't really need these, but I'm going to keep them. I'm going to nudge them out of the way. Now we've got them broken apart. I'm going to nudge it back up. And you see where I'm going. I've got a cutout now. This is what's going to cut out. We're going to take our Smart Fill tool and fill this in. Now we're going to nudge it. Let me move this picture out of the way for a second. We're going to take our Smart Fill part and just nudge it out of the way. Now we can get rid of this for just a second. Now we're going to left click, right click in red and just nudge it back. So you see how this is going to leave plywood. That's what you're looking at right now. You're looking at plywood. Uh, this was most likely cut out of plywood. Plywood is your strongest wood when you're cutting little strips like this. So all of this will be cut out. It'll make a layer. So now we're going to make a second layer. So we're going to, I didn't even mean to do that. I'm going to grab our shape. I'm just going to delete these. I don't need them anymore. But I do need this layer. Control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to set it over here. Now, let's get rid of that box. Just do the same thing again. Let's zoom in. Take the Smart Fill tool. Fill that in and nudge it down. 
take all these, take all these, left click, right click, then take these and contour them again. What we're doing, we're making smaller and smaller cavities for it to show. Now select all these and break them apart. Now we've already got a copy of this one, so we don't need these. I am going to need to put an 8-inch box up there. So I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now we've got all these broken apart. Grab the center ones, nudge them up. So we've made it a little bit wider. Now we're going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill this in. We can actually don't have to, we will nudge it just so we won't mess up. Left click, right click. Now this is our next layer. Let's get, let's nudge these out of the way. It's always better to nudge stuff. And this should work, put it in the center of the page. Now let's make a duplicate of this, control D. There's our next layer. Now, you're going to want to do something to the inside for sure. But you could also mimic this, and I might do it in the next video. So let's take tell you what, let's take away our I don't know if it'll let me delete that outer box. Nope. It's all grouped together. This is a little confusing sometimes. But we're going to smart fill this in with, let's pick a color that's visible with cyan and do this one in green. Now, if we, and this is where I probably should have nudged it up. Let's put that one right at the edge. Well, I didn't pick very good colors to tail. Let's uh, let's nudge this out of the way. Let's make this one red. Now let's nudge this back. So there's our another layer. So you can see that the red is just going to show we're we're working from the basically the bottom up when we're doing this. The green is going to be your top layer. The red is going to be your other layer. And then you you start off with a board on the back. Let's just do that. Let's draw a, another 12 inch square. And I'm sorry if this is a little confusing. I had my ratio locked and I typed it in wrong. Let's color that in with dark blue. And let's grab it and put it to the back of the layer. And that's what it's going to look like. You're going to see the blue on the very bottom. The red is going to be your next layer. And then your green is going to be your next layer. So stay tuned for part two and we might keep going. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.